a treasure trove of knowledge. Introducing the Internet Archive. The Internet Archive is a non-profit digital library. It is home to an immense collection of digitized materials. This includes books, movies, music and software. Founded in 1996, the Archive's mission is to provide universal access to knowledge. It has become an invaluable resource for researchers, students and the general public. The Internet Archive's digital lending program has been particularly impactful. This program allows users to borrow digitized copies of books. It operates similarly to a physical library. This has been crucial for expanding access to knowledge, especially for those with disabilities or limited access to physical libraries. However, this program has come under fire in recent years. The battle begins. Publishers sue the Internet Archive. The lawsuit, filed in 2020, centered around the National Emergency Library. Launched during COVID-19, it expanded the Archive's lending program. Millions of digitized books were made available without wait lists. Publishers argued it was mass copyright infringement. The Internet Archive claimed fair use, likening it to traditional library lending. The case became a focal point in the copyright debate. Controlled Digital Lending A lifeline or copyright infringement. At the heart of the lawsuit against the Internet Archive is Controlled Digital Lending or CDL. Libraries lend out digital copies of books they own. The Internet Archive argues CDL is a natural extension of traditional lending. Publishers argue CDL is copyright infringement. They claim it undermines their profits. The Internet Archive's program is based on own to loan. Publishers argue the digital format facilitates piracy. A blow to libraries, the ruling and its immediate impact. In a significant setback for the Internet Archive, the court ruled in favour of the publishers. The judge found that the Internet Archive's National Emergency Library did indeed infringe on the publishers' copyrights. The ruling stated that the Archive's lending programme exceeded the bounds of fair use. This dealt a blow to the Internet Archive and raise concerns about the future of digital libraries. The immediate impact of the ruling is that the Internet Archive will have to significantly curtail its digital lending program. They will likely have to limit the number of digital copies they lend out. They may also need to implement stricter controls to prevent unauthorized distribution. This ruling has sent shockwaves through the library community. Many fear that it could set a precedent that will hinder their ability to lend out digital materials. Section 5. The Pandemic Proof – IA's Vital Role in Access to Information During the COVID-19 pandemic, the Internet Archive's National Emergency Library was a vital resource. With libraries closed, the Archive's digital lending programme provided a lifeline for students and researchers. Millions relied on the Archive to continue their education and research. The Archive's role highlighted the essential function of digital libraries during crises. It showed the importance of a robust and accessible public domain. This is crucial when traditional information access is disrupted. Section 6. Fair Use Under Fire Narrowing the Scope of Digital Preservation The court ruling against the Internet Archive has significant implications for the doctrine of fair use. Fair use is a cornerstone of copyright law. It allows for the limited use of copyrighted material without permission for purposes such as criticism, commentary, news reporting, teaching, scholarship and research. 
The ruling, however, seems to narrow the scope of fair use, particularly in the digital realm. By ruling that the Internet Archive's digital lending program exceeded the bounds of fair use, the court has raised concerns that the balance between copyright protection and the public's right to access information is being tipped in favour of copyright holders. This could have a chilling effect on digital preservation efforts. It might discourage libraries and other institutions from making their collections available online for fear of legal repercussions. Section 7. The Uncertain Future. What lies ahead for the Internet Archive? The recent court ruling presents a significant challenge for the Internet Archive. The organization is currently evaluating its options. They are considering an appeal. The outcome of this legal battle will have far-reaching consequences for the future of the Archive and its mission to provide universal access to knowledge. If the ruling stands, the Internet Archive may have to make significant changes to its digital lending program. This could involve limiting the number of loans. It could also mean negotiating new licensing agreements with publishers. The Archive may also need to raise funds to cover legal fees and potential settlements. Despite these challenges, the Internet Archive remains committed to its mission. The organization is exploring alternative models for digital lending and advocating for reforms to copyright law that better reflect the realities of the digital age. Section 8. A call to action. Protecting our digital heritage. The court ruling against the Internet Archive is a wake-up call. It underscores the need for a broader conversation about the future of libraries. It also emphasises the role of copyright in the digital age. Libraries play a vital role in preserving our cultural heritage. They also ensure access to information for all. In the digital age, this role is more important than ever. We must find ways to support libraries as they navigate the challenges of the digital world. This includes advocating for copyright laws that balance the rights of creators with the public's right to access information. It also means supporting organisations like the Internet Archive that are working to preserve our digital heritage and make it available to everyone. Section 9 Rethinking Copyright for the Digital Age – Striking a Balance The Internet Archive case highlights the need to rethink copyright law for the digital age. Current copyright laws were designed for a physical world. They don't adequately address the realities of digital content and online distribution. We need to find a balance that protects the rights of creators. At the same time, we must ensure that the public has access to information and that libraries can fulfil their mission in the digital age. One potential solution is to explore alternative licensing models, such as Creative Commons licences, that allow creators to grant broader usage rights to their work while still retaining some control. Another approach is to strengthen fair use provisions to ensure that libraries and other institutions can lend out digital materials without fear of legal repercussions. Section 10. The importance of open access. Ensuring a rich public domain. The Internet Archive case underscores the importance of open access. Open access refers to the practice of making creative works freely available online for anyone to access, use and share. A robust public domain, where works are no longer protected by copyright, is essential for a thriving cultural and intellectual landscape. Open access allows for greater dissemination of knowledge, fosters innovation and promotes education. It ensures that knowledge is not locked away behind paywalls or legal barriers. By supporting open access initiatives and advocating for policies 
that expand the public domain, we can help ensure that future generations have access to the information and cultural heritage